Hi, I'm Shannon Pakoulis, and you're watching SP Sports. I am going to be doing weekly podcasts about the Toronto Arrows with the Arrows' number one fan, Rui Ash. Rui, tell us a bit about yourself. Thanks, Shannon. I'm Rui Ash. I played a little bit with the Arrows, not that much in the development squad last year. My uh, claim to fame was the highest body fat on the team, so that was pretty special. I can relate. So, me and Rui attended the uh, game on Sunday. It was the Toronto Arrows versus NOLA Gold. Uh, NOLA ended up beating the Arrows 35-31. Uh, to 31. Unfortunately, they got a try in the last minute of the game. Rui, talk to us a little bit about this game and your thoughts on the Arrows' performance. I thought it was uh, an exceptional performance, especially for the first home game of the season. Um, it really gave the crowd what they wanted, which is uh, a lot of tries. Unfortunately, the result wasn't quite there, but it wasn't through lack of trying. It was uh, just, well, it was 15 minutes of bad play in the first half, a few uh, defensive lapses, one intercept, but uh, they really turned up for the rest of the game, and it was just the last few minutes. They dug deep, but the, they just didn't quite have it in the end. So in the first half of the game, they were being defeated by the NOLA gold. And then in the second half, they were actually dominating. They were in NOLA's end of the field for most of the second half. What do you think they did differently? And how can you compare the first half of the game compared to the second half? Well, in the first half, they, the Arrows started really, really strongly and they scored a fantastic try off a, uh, a quick turnover. I think it was uh, Jones, the Kiwi. Um, made a great break from the, I think it was the props mistake on the NOLA side, and then uh, it was Moore who then finished with a great support line. And I don't know if they maybe just switched off, because for the next 15 minutes, they just, a few mistakes here, a few mistakes there, and uh, I thought it was a, a bit of an awful penalty try decision, really. I mean, uh, high tackles these days seem to be very uh, pedantic, and uh, they were down to 10 men for a lot of that time. So in those 15 minutes where they had bad spell, they were down to 14 men. So um, maybe it was just that. Maybe they were a bit flustered after that penalty try. What do you think of the penalty try? Do you think it's fair? Do you think that the player should just go to the sin bin and that's it? Or, or do you believe in the penalty try? Is this fair? I do believe in the penalty try because... Um, at the end of the day, there was an, well, what appeared like an attempt at uh, a tackle, but ended up going around the neck, allegedly. Fortunately, there's no TMO, so these refs have to make a, an on-the-field on split decision straight away. So it's really difficult, but at the same time, I don't think any, one member of the crowd thought it was a penalty try. So my answer to that is no to that penalty try, but yes to penalty tries in general. Okay. Excellent answer. Uh, what do you think the arrows could have done differently in this game? Um, for me, in attack, they just looked a little bit too structured. I think uh, maybe a little bit too potentially overcoached. But at the same time, they just need a few more power forward runners. So I thought the forwards had a great game in defense. They really did. Struggled a bit at the uh, lineouts and... Uh, but were dominant in the scrum. And I think uh, maybe they just lacked a bit of the go-forwards from a forward carrier. You can really notice it from the Nola gold, especially the six and the eight, and also their replacement, the number 20. Whenever they had the ball, they always wanted to go forwards and they always looked like they wanted to cause some damage. And uh, I just think the Arrows next week really need to uh, empower their forwards and just say, time to go over the game line, boys. Absolutely. Um so in the last minute of the game, Nola, well, the, arrow, the arrows were winning. They were ahead. Um, and in the last minute, Nola got a try and they ended up winning the game. What do you think the arrows could have done differently in the last part of the game? Because they were dominating for a long time and they lost it at the very end. What do you think could have been done? It's a difficult one because I think the Arrows gave away three three penalties late and also in, in, in their half. So they really have to be squeaky clean at those moments in the game, especially with only a few minutes left, especially when the scoreboard's so close. 
But to be honest, their defence was pretty rock solid. And just before that period, they were knocking them back every single time they had the ball. The defence was ones and twos into every single tackle. They were smashing these guys back. I remember Mike Shepard might have made like three or four big hits in a row. Like these guys were scared and I don't think Nola knew what to do. It was only when the ref gave them the field position off the penalties, then they actually started getting the, the territory. And then at the end of the day, who knows how to defend when you got posts flying around. Uh, you've got people just carries and carries and carries and carries and carries. And uh, it's not fitness. The guys look really fit out there. But uh, it's just one of those things. It's Sometimes you win, sometimes you don't. And that was unfortunately one of the times they didn't. Do you think that it being their home opener and being a little bit nervous about it might have had something to do with it? I don't think it had anything to do with the uh, the the final play. I believe that dodgy 15 minutes at the start might have done. Um I can't believe how big the crowd was. Over, I think it was over 3,000, which is a, a fantastic number. They were pretty raucous. They were screaming. They were shouting. Um, there, was a, there was a Kiwi guy shouting some profanities all the time. <laughs> that, uh, um, maybe uh, an Englishman, too, was also joining in. I wonder who that was. And then... Um, but no, I, th- I don't think the crowd... These these are experienced players. A lot of them have played in front of these crowds before. They played in front of Seattle a couple of weeks ago and I think that was a bigger crowd. So I, d- I don't think it was the... Uh, I don't think it was the crowd pressure. I think they really did uh, live up to the crowd. And what were some highlights for you watching this Arrows game uh, on Sunday? There was quite a few. Like I said, there was a lot of running rugby. There was a lot of great, great tries scored from both teams, to be fair. But my number one moment must be the uh, number 22's mullet. Well, that just uh, brings up my next set of questions. We are going to do a speed round of questions. Um, And you actually answered one of them right now. I was going to say who had the best hair. Do you think he had the best hair or is there someone else out on the field who had the best hair? Absolutely not. And I think all players should be having a mullet these days. I was actually thinking of getting a mullet myself, but <laughs> I'll wait. I'll, I'll wait until I find myself a man first. Someone who will love me for, for me and not my mullet. Um, so for the speed round, I'm going to ask you questions and you're going to have to answer them like this. This is a test of your arrows knowledge and just a test of your creativity. So are you ready? Rui Ash. Mm-hmm. All right, let's go. So, in your opinion, who was the best player? Best player was in attack. Luke, in attack, I thought Lucas Rumble had an excellent game. In defence, I thought Sam McDonald, the number 10, was outstanding, especially for a man of his size. What was your favourite moment of the game? Uh, the post going flying at the 79th minute. And amount of drinks you consumed? I was very well behaved. I think I had two amount of drinks you normally consume at a rugby game at least two per quarter amount of drinks your new zealand buddy consumed probably close to his body weight which might be 60 kilos and who is the arrows player who's most likely to win a beauty pageant I don't know about beauty pageant, but there is one crowd favourite, which is the John Moonlight. Seems to have all the girls going absolutely mental. (laughs) I cannot disagree. Um, Player who squats the most? Uh, (laughs) No idea, but I presume it's one of the front rowers. Uh, I'm going to go with the big tight head, the big Kiwi. Player most likely to get sin bin the most this season? Um... I don't know, who's got the biggest mean streak? I reckon number four, Mike Shepard. All right, and player with the most facial hair? Again, I think it's Mike Shepard. Player with the least amount of hair in general? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the young kid on the wing, I guess, Ottoman. All right. Uh, Name at least two non-Canadians on the team. Uh, well, they've got three Kiwis in the starting lineup. They've got uh, the big Kiwi prop. Um, and they've got Sam McDonald at 10. And they also got Spencer Jones at 13. All right. And biggest mama's boy? 
Uh, Riley Donato, third team scrum half. And if you were on that team, I would say you. Um, and now we're going to do a little something fun as well. We're going to play something that I like to call apples and onions. So your apples, it's the favorite part of the game for you, and your onion is the worst part of the game, whether it be rugby related or just atmosphere related. What was your favorite? What, what's your apple? My apple was, in general, just uh, the whole thing. It was a real festival of activity. There was lots of tries. The crowd were in great spirits. Everyone really enjoyed it. I think it really helped. It was the first real spring weekend. And, uh, yeah, it was just a great occasion, and I can't wait to go again next week. And what's your onion? My onion, maybe not just, m not for me, but I know it was a big one for the crowd, but they did the heinous, heinous crime of running out of alcohol three or four times during the game. They've got to sort that out. There's so many alcoholics out there who were just dying for a drink. And uh, let's talk a bit about next week's game, Sunday, April 14th. The Arrows are going to be playing Austin Elite. What do you expect from this game? Um, I think Austin at the moment are 0 and 10, so they're not doing, not doing the best. I really want to see the Arrows get uh, five or six tries, maybe test out some of the some of the wider squad players, get them a bit of game time. But uh, yeah, lots of tries, but they need to work on this defence, really get the defence firing, and hopefully, maybe not uh, scoreless, but hopefully get zero tries from uh, Austin. But a big win, big win. Mm -hmm. All right, Rue. Well, thank you so much. Is there anything else you want to add? No comment. All right. See you guys next week. We'll be talking about the Arrows versus the Austin Elite. And stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for joining. Goodbye.